Hello everyone. In this video, I will briefly show you how to start using Cite. If you are a student or researcher looking for real academic sources and citations, this AI-powered tool can help you. To start using it, visit cite.ai. The link will be in the description or in the comment. Please check that. With Cite, you will have access, as you can see here, to 1.2 billion citation statements extracted and analyzed from 187 million articles, book chapters, etc. It's quite extensive sources. To use it, create an account on site. Uh, to create an account, click on this blue sign up button here. If you already have an account, click on the sign in button. So I click, since I have already have an account, I'm clicking on sign in button. As you see, I signed into my account and it's pretty straightforward after signing in to use site. Click on this search bar and type your request. I'm typing my own request, European Union Migration Laws. It's a very broad request. You can type your own question or request and more specific request it can be. So click enter. In a couple of seconds, site delivers the sources. Here you can see. And I want to talk about one unique feature of site, which is specific only to this AI tool. And that is smart citations. What smart citations means? Under each source, you will see this bar here. It, it will include uh, numbers, the figures in it. The first one will show you number of publications citing this work. Second one will show you number of supporting, supporting articles uh, for, for this article. And the third one is about how many other verbs generally mentioning this work. And the last one, it is zero here, how many contrasting citation statements about this work. This is a very pretty handy feature. For example, if you like this source, you can also find another supporting supporting source by clicking on, 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 on this. Another second feature I want to talk about you is assistant, site assistant. To access it, simply click on this assistant button here. Then you will end up in this page. Here you will see pre-drafted questions. You can select one of them if you like, but you can also type your own specific question and request. Here to test it, I am going to write European Union migration laws. Click enter. Here what site does, it will draft a very brief paragraph about my request. And the best part of it, it will also include the sources that it is going to use to draft this paragraph. It's a very handy feature because if you don't know where to start, you just type your ideas, your question there, and site drafts a paragraph for you. You can check this paragraph and you can read it. You can have some basic initial ideas. And here also you will see the sources in the brackets. If you hover over these source, these brackets, you will see the sources and you can also start reading them. I think this is a very handy feature as well to start doing a literature review or generally writing. So I think that's it for now. I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. Please let me know if you find this tool useful. Have you ever used it? Please, please let me know in the comments, comment section. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in my next videos.